Right, welcome back for the second part of this uh, video tutorial. Um, what we're going to work on this uh, video is the eyes. So you're going to need to make two, obviously. Uh, so we're going to make two eyes and two, let's call them eyelids, but they're more like uh, little eye casings. <laughs> right, so let's get to it. What I'm doing is I'm, I've dropped a hook size. So I've gone from a 3.5mm crochet hook down to a 3mm and some slightly thinner white yarn. So I'm going to start by putting a slip stitch onto my hook and with a chain 5 loop. I, I, I always uh, do a chain 5 loop rather than a magic circle. I just think it uh, holds better. One, two, three, four, five. And slip stitch back into your first chain. And then chain one, and we're going to put in eight half double crochets into the center. So let's do that now. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Don't end up with a little gap here, but you can pull this uh, pull this tight. Oops, I'll just slip there, and slip stitch back into the slip stitch on this side. And that creates a, a nice little circle. Right, round two, chain one. And what we're going to do is we are going to put in two stitches in each stitch around. Still working in half double crochets. So that's two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 14, 15, and 16. And slip stitch back into your first chain here on the other side. Because that that, that'll close up. And chain one. Round three is going to be an increase round. So we're going to put in one single half double crochet, well, one half double crochet into your first stitch and two into the next. then one half double crochet in, and then two in the next and we're going to do this all the way around so one and two uh, one in the next and two in the next one in the next Two in the next. One in the next. And two in the next. One in the next. Two in the next. One in the next. And two in the next. Man, look, that's repetitive, but hey. And then slip stitch back into your first chain on the other side and chain one. Right, round four. 
Uh, I'm so, sorry, I'm just reading uh, my pattern here, uh, which I brought out yesterday. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do three, three rounds. So four, five and six uh, is going to be one half double crochet into each stitch around. So I'm going to do this off camera and then I'll be back. Right, row seven, what we're going to do is we're going to start decreasing. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in one single, single crochet into your first stitch and then decrease. One single crochet into your next stitch and then a decrease. One single crochet into the next stitch and then a decrease. We're going to do this all the way around. So I'm going to, uh, I'm not talking through the entire round, but I will do it on camera. So one stitch and a decrease. One stitch and a decrease. Nearly back at the beginning. One stitch and a decrease. And one stitch is fine. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little stuffing in here because otherwise it's going to be too late to do it. Now, you want to put enough stuffing in where it's not going to crumple in but you don't want to put enough in where it's going to expand this uh, stitch out because since it is a, a slightly wider stitch from the single crochet it's got a habit of exp you know, getting, getting too big with the amount of stuffing. So, yeah, just you can always flatten it a little bit and round it out you know you can shape it so yeah not too much and not too little just so just so it pads it out nicely and then we're going to continue now from now to the finish we're just going to be decreasing so uh, in every in every stitch put in a decrease like this And this this will start closing up quite rapidly now. Sorry, I keep going out of frame there. Still trying to hold me uh, stuffing out of the way, but on such a uh, small piece like this, it's sometimes quite difficult. So just keep keep working round and gradually and slowly. Well, not so; it goes quite quickly. But eventually, it will get to a point where you can't really do any more because it's just too small. And then I'll show you what to do. So I'm just going to pop in one more because I'm yeah I'm getting to uh, my limit on this, and then. I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to pull out some yarn. Again, I'm going to leave a bit, of, yeah, a good bit of yarn on there so we can uh, sew it later. Snip this off, get your uh, needle, and then what we're going to do is we're going to close this up with a needle. So. We're just going to go through a couple of stitches round. Should be enough, and pull. You can pull this quite, yeah, you know, quite tight, and then just pop it and pop in a couple of extra ones, just to completely close this gap up. And that's all there is to it. So that is uh, one eye nearly complete. Our oh, next little step on the eyes is get some uh, black yarn. I'm just going to use, uh, I, think this, I think this is a, a double knit weight. And this is uh, going to be a bit tricky to see because I've got a black background. But 
yeah, it's, it's just it's just regular, regular double net. But, I'm, but I, I am going to double it up for the uh, purpose of this video. Right, you're going to choose a little area on the underneath and kind of thread it, thread it through a couple. So this is uh, the centre, so go up a couple of rows, leave, leave a little sticking out because this is on the underneath so we're not going to see this. And then we're going to lay this across over, uh, over the centre, hold, hold it with your thumb and then on the same stitch but on the opposite side. So that's where we've gone in. So we're bringing it over, then on the same stitch, this side, pop it in. Now what we're going to have to do is go all the way through and come out of the same stitch on this, on this side. And pull very, pull gently. Uh, it doesn't want to be tight because this happens. It ends up being a, a little uh, deformed. So to pull gently. Now we're going to do this a couple more times. So again, we're going to lay it over the center. It will move. It will move around a little bit, and that's fine. It's only for, it's only for decoration. And go back through the stitch on the side, and then back out on the other side, just like this. Remember, you don't want to pull it tight. If you do, you can just. Uh, reshape it so we're getting in, getting there and we're just going to do it one more time so again lay it over go through and go back through on the opposite side going straight through the middle of your eyeball and then just to secure this a little bit what we're going to do is just go under all, the, all these loops Thread it through, so you have a, like a loop here, and go back through this loop with your needle, and then you can pull this a, a little tighter, you know, just gently. Just keeps all those uh, threads together, and do that again. And we're going to go back through the stitch, and we're going to go back through the stitch underneath to our original starting point and at that point you can uh, take the needle off uh, your yarn and we're just going to put in a couple of little uh, a couple of little knots here now you don't want to pull them tight from your first one but on your second one you can go a little tighter with it because it's not going to move and then yeah we'll just put a third one in for good luck and then you can snip this off a little bit Never sniff it off to a point where this is going to disappear <laughs> because otherwise this is just going to uh, uh, come loose over time. So that should be nice and secure and that's the first part of the eye. So you need to make two of these and then we're going to make the eyelids. Right, so we're back to a 3.5mm crochet hook and our original yarn, what we used for the uh, body of the uh, octopus. And we're going to start with a slip knot with chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch back into your first chain to make a loop. Chain one. Now the chain one isn't going to count as a stitch. And now we're going to put twelve half double crochets into this loop. And we're going to uh, go over this uh, yarn tail as we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
So that's round one, so on to round two. Slip stitch back into your first uh, half double crochet there and chain one to get you up to a, the right height. And we're going to put in two half double crochet in each stitch around. I'm just going to do all this on camera because it's not going to take that long. So here we go. Move this yarn. So two in every one. And remember that uh, the first chain doesn't count as anything. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and the last one, 24. Round three. First, one, first you want to slip stitch back into your uh, the other side and chain one to get to right height. And now we, I'm just going to double check this. Now we're just going to start working in rounds. So we're going to just do one, Half double crochet in every stitch around. So again, I'm going to do all this on camera just so you can see uh, exactly what I'm doing. Ne nearly to the end. It's been a long video. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. If not, I should. If if not, I know there's been a few uh, a few. Uh, numerical errors in this so hopefully uh, next week when I have some more pretty yarn I will be redoing the entire video for you and hopefully the next the next one will be uh, better so I've got a tangle in my yarn here so we're just working half double crochet into each stitch all the way around here And what this is going to do is it's going to make a nice uh, rounded, uh, it's going to look like a little baby hat and each eyeball will sit inside and make a, a, a nice uh, surround for it. And slip stitch, chain one and continue for another round of half double crochets in each stitch. At this point it will be curling up so you can just uh, curl it back the right way. Carry on. Yeah, if, I'm, if I do go a little bit fast uh, sometimes, yeah, just put me on pause, that's fine. I won't notice anyway. <laughs> right, I'm back to the beginning, so another slip stitch, just check with the other one, and we're going to do, you guessed it, another, another round. Get 
some more yarn. So chain one, go back into that same stitch with a half double crochet and do another round of one half double crochet in each stitch. Nearly there. And slip stitch back into the top of there. Right, so I'm just going to make sure I... Oops. Going to redo that slip stitch. Uh, isn't the best yarn to use because it uh, comes apart or, you know, it's, don't know, it's, uh, see, but no, it's, uh, it, it's not bad once you get used to it. It's just a bit tricky with uh, the uh, smaller, smaller size crochet hooks. Right, I'm just going to get me other eyeball. Well, it's not it's the same one, but, uh, because it, what this does is it, it's just going to make a nice little jacket for it, just like this. And that's our last round on the eyelid. Uh, you can flatten them down a little bit, you know, change, change the shape. Uh, so you're going to want to make two, two of each and then uh, meet me back and we'll sew them onto the main body. Right, so basically I've just sewn my eyes on and this is the uh, finished result. Um, if these eyes aren't quite in where you want them, you can uh, <laughs> you can move them around a little bit, quite easy. If uh, if you want them a little bit more secure, you can pop a couple of stitches through uh, in un underneath. Uh, but no, so I like them like that. Uh, yeah, and that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, and uh, carry on stitching. Until next time, uh, I will see you again soon. Bye. Just want to say thank you very much for uh, following this tutorial. Uh, if you have made one of these successfully, uh, I'd love to see it. So uh, feel free to add me onto Instagram. My username is Crochet Kyle on there. So uh, I'd, I'd love to see your creations. Until next time, bye.